Hello everybody. How's everybody doing? Welcome back to the nursery. I just thought I'd let you guys come along with me. I am going to start painting a new baby today. This is Levi. I'm going to get him ready to go home to his mom. And you know, I thought I would just let you guys come along with me. This will be my first coat on him, guys. Uh, usually I do a, a neutralizing layer, which is white. I use like thin and medium and white. But he was so pale anyways. I don't think I'm going to have to do that. So this is this is not uh, the way a lot of people do theirs, guys. I'll just tell you right off. Um, this is just my way of doing it. Uh, what I do is that this is my first uh, flesh coat. So uh, usually, like I told you, I usually... Uh, hang on just a minute, guys. Let me get some paper towel. Excuse me a minute. Sorry about that, guys. Um, usually, a lot of people, how they do it is... It just depends on how you want to do it. They'll, they'll put it on their sponge like this. And then they'll put it on the baby. So, you know, it works either way. I like to do it this way, guys. Kind of, kind of like doing a wash. The reason I like doing it this way is because it... Uh, maybe you can see. Uh, it gets in all the crevices and the cracks behind, you know, and in, in all the little ears and all that stuff. And then I come over here and I dab that off on a paper towel, clean paper towel, and just kind of take some of it back off. So this is how I do mine. A lot of people don't do it this way. But this is the Levi Sculpt. It's uh, Bonnie Brown. Uh, I've got my own Levi over there I showed you guys before. And then I take a... This is my mop brush. I need to get me a new one. This well left mop brush. Mine's getting worn out. I gotta get me some more paint brushes too, guys. When I go back to town, I'm not gonna. I won't be going this weekend because we're gonna be working on the little farm. But we will be going Monday because I gotta go get my little doggy a haircut at the groomers. And while there we're there, we gotta pick up some goat feed for the goats. So I'll run on into Walmart and pick me up some more paint brushes because I about. I used about used all my paint brushes up on my silicone, and once you use them on that, it just it's hard to get them to work. Then after that, they get stiff and hard, and you can't hardly get that stuff out. So I'm having to switch my paint brushes today, and it's getting like little hairs all over everything, and I hate that. But anyway, I just I just mainly do mine like a little wash. I just kind of mix up my color. This is my flesh coat, and what I make my flesh coat out of, I've showed you in another video. I'm not going to do it all because I've got these already mixed. But I'll tell you what I put in it is I put the flesh 08 along with some thinners. I, I thin mine down, you can see. With the, I use mineral spirits. Thin down pretty much. See that? I use uh, flesh 08 is what I use. It's Flesh 08 and um, a little bit of raw sienna, just a little, to give it a little yellowy hue. And just a little bit of red, to give it just a little bit of a red color. And I mix those together till I like the color. I don't have a precise formula for it, guys. If I did, I would tell you, but I don't. And that's how I, that's my flesh color. That's what I use to paint my flesh colors with. So then I go all over the baby and... I dab, dab, dab. Let me get that behind that ear. I kind of take some of it off. I put it on there and I take it off. And that way I'm, I'm insured this way that it goes into every little crevice. The thing it is, though, well, guys, when you do it this way, you've also got to make sure you don't you get it out of those crevices, too, because you don't want it to build up a lot of paint in there. So what I do is I do that, and then I get a lot of hairs, guys. I hate these brushes. So i got to get me some. But I use my old mop brush then. And I just go around, see, and make sure it's not, you don't want to take it all off, but you, you don't want it lingering in there and, and when you bake it, because it won't look good <laughs> if you do, you know, build up, paint build up. So you just want to dab it out. And like I said, I usually start out with uh, a neutralizing layer, but this guy was so pale anyway. I thought instead of using a neutralizing layer on the first layer, I would just, because he's real pale anyway, I would go ahead and do a flesh layer. It's kind of like a 
first coat instead of a neutralizing layer because he was just so pale anyway. Um, the reason we do want to do a uh, neutralizing color is, is a lot of times guys you get in these kits that are, are, are real pinkish or they're real, um, oh, I don't know, different colors. You know, a lot of them will be orangey looking. And you want that as pale as you can get it when you first start painting and then that way it won't it won't interfere with your paint so what i do is i just go through and i dab all this just to make sure that i've got all that paint out of those crevices i keep working it and i go i look i just keep looking at all my little crevices see and if you can see i don't know if you sit but see how it's kind of pond up i should say around the nose and then the eye creases, and in the nose, around the nose, in the mouth. See that? You just wanna get all that out of those creases. But this is my first coat, just a flesh layer. So, sorry guys, I haven't been on in a few days. Um, I really haven't had much to talk about because I've been working on that silicone smidge. And it's just, it wasn't doing good, so I just put it to the side and I've started working on my reborns again. I have got some dragon skin ordered. It's supposed to be coming in the mail, so I'm just going to wait and see what I can do with the dragon skin instead of the psycho paint. Maybe it'll do better. Who knows? Who you know? But anyway, there is his first coat on his head. Now what I'll do with this is I'm going to put it in my oven. I'm, well, I'm going to let it sit over here until it flashes off. And what I mean by flashing off is the thinners for it to dry, in other words. The thinners will dry. And the mineral spirits dry, spirits dry pretty quick. Now, a lot of people use the different thinners. They, you know, they get like the Bob Ross or the Mona Lisa thinner. I just use plain old mineral spirits, and it works good. So I just buy it by the gallon jug up there at Walmart because I paint so many babies. But you can buy a quart if you just paint one baby. But anyway, there's little Levi's first cup. That's his head, on his head. And I'll just sit it over here to dry. And over here, I'll show you my little stands I got. This is just little cheap stands I got from Dolls by Sandy. And it's got some more pegs I can put in here uh, for different ones. But this is what I use to hang my limbs on while they're drying, flashing off. So, let me get one over here and I'll... Now, I'll start on his little foot. And what I do is I start on the foot and I work up. Because, you know, you can't... If you if you done this, you wouldn't have nothing to hold to while you do the foot. So, what I do is I do the foot first. I just kind of like I'm doing a wash on it, and I make sure it gets all on the toes and in between the toes. But now, if you prefer, you can just put it on your sponge and put it on there. This is just my way of doing it, not saying anybody else's is wrong or mine's right. <laughs> it's just, it's how it works for me. You know, you'll learn your own uh, as you go on this. You'll learn your own little special techniques on it. I'm just going to show you one leg and one arm, and then I'll do the rest off camera. And uh, that way... You know, it won't be so long. Because I'm doing the same thing, you know, the other arm and leg. But, yeah, I was telling you guys, and I got sidetracked there, I think. I've missed talking to you guys. But I've been working on that silicone, and I just... I haven't had really much to talk about, because I've been really struggling with that thing. And uh, I just put it on a shelf for now. And I've got me some dragon skin ordered, and I'm going to try that. And instead of the psycho paint, and see what I can do with that. Who knows, guys? I'll get it. It's just, you know, it's like I told you in another video. The best thing to do when something starts getting on your nerves is just, I've learned the hard way, is just step away from it for a while. Just do something else, you know, and, uh, you know, step away. And so that's what I've done with her. I've just put her over here on my shelves to sit for a while. And I thought, you know, I'm getting behind on my customs, guys, which, by the way, this is a custom Levi. I have my own. Oh, they're already done, but this is a custom Levi. And uh, I'm waiting on, the mama to this one is also getting Logan over there, Logan awake. And I'm waiting on his hair to come in. So I thought, well, she's getting painted hair on this one. Uh, because as you can see, he's got that little crown dip in his head here. And she's wanting that to show. She don't want to put hair over that and cover it up. So we're gonna do painted hair on him. I'm going to paint his hair a lot, paint, hair painting, just a real light little hair painting, kind of like mine. She liked the way mine looked. And um, so, you know. 
And guys, you're really supposed to use gloves when you're painting these dolls. I don't. I mean, that's your own personal preference, but a lot of people tell you that the paint won't stick. I don't. I've, I find I don't have a problem with it. I'm not saying that it's you should or shouldn't. I'm just saying that I don't wear the gloves that get in my way. And I have found out that I do a lot better without. I, what I do is I just wash my hands real good. Make sure they're really clean before I start handling the parts. That I don't seem to have a problem with it. A lot of people say that, that you know, you'll get oils from your hands on there. And the paint won't stick good. But I'm telling you, I've been doing this for eight years now. And uh, I've had no problems with it. But, you know, that's your own preference too, guys. You, you know, you just, you'll find your own way in this. And like I said, I'm not saying everybody's wrong. Or I'm right. I'm just saying this is my way of doing it. Yeah. So we just dab some of it off where it's not, you don't want, you know, you won't paint on there. You don't want to take it all off. But you don't want it so thick either that it's going to puddle up in spots because that's not going to look good at all. So what I do is I just put it on there kind of like a wash. I'm doing a wash over the whole thing and then I go through. And I dab it, uh, some of it off, not all of it, just to where it's really, and, and just spread it around, is what I'm doing. And then I take my little mop brush, and I go into all the creases. You know, because like I said, if you do it this way, you got to get it out of those creases. If you don't, it's not going to look good. And so, there is one leg done, guys, just that quick. Now, I put these in my oven, which I've got a... Um, New wave oven. I don't know exactly what the, if you done it in your oven oven, what it would be, the temperatures. But guys, I really don't suggest doing that. Uh, it's very dangerous. A lot of people do that too. But I, I'm not going to recommend it be done. Because uh, it's not safe to do it in your oven you cook in. Because those fumes and things, you know, they get out in your oven when you're doing that. And, um... And that they stay there, and then you cook, and that gets all in your food. Those fumes, you know, they stay in there, and, and it gets into your elements of your oven. And, and then when you cook, that goes into your food. So I don't suggest doing that. I use a new wave oven. I also have a window right behind it that I open when I'm doing this behind the oven. You're supposed to do it in a really well-ventilated area. But I don't have that luxury right now in my workroom so I have a, a, a window right behind it and I have a, a exhaust fan that I turn it the opposite way and to pull the air out and that way it pulls the fumes out of my house so I'm not breathing that it's just you know you're working with chemicals here guys so you know you got to use common sense with it but I really have missed talking to you guys I I don't, I don't like not doing my videos, but I really don't have nothing to talk about. And I'm like, oh gosh, I can't get on there and talk. I don't have anything to say. So I thought, well, I've showed you a painting video before, but I thought, well, I'm going to go back on and, and just take them along with me. Because I miss talking to you guys. I guess it, you get, it's anything you get used to doing, you know. And I've gotten so used to doing a video and... Uh, you know, sharing stuff with you guys, and then when I don't do it, I, I feel, I feel bad, you know, I like sharing stuff with people, I'm up for learning, and I'm, I'm up for everybody learning too, if they want to, I like to let them know what I know, you know, if they want to learn, I want people to learn, and some people ask me, guys, if I sell babies, make them and sell them, and yes, I do, guys, not so much customs. Uh, I'll be honest with you guys. It's it's so hard to please people sometimes. Which my my reborns, I think I think I do a great job. I've been doing it for eight years, so I think my work is really nice. But you know you know how it is. Some people it's just it's just hard to deal with people. So what I do is is I just usually I won't do like a custom baby unless it's just somebody I know. I'm doing these, but this is my good friend that I'm doing all these for. 
and she has been a very long customer of mine has got very very many babies from me and I, I know she's good about it she's patient and and she's uh, real kind about my work she loves my work and you know I know that she's not gonna you know a lot of times you you know people won't like the color or they won't like the hair color or you know <laughs> And I just really don't do customs that much. But I do make babies and sell them. And I probably have a few up for sale. So I'll put them on eBay for sale. If anybody's interested in one, mine start out at 400 with painted hair, 500 with rooted hair. And I do do layaway. Uh, I require $100 deposit down. And then I'll do like a, a, a three-month payment plan after that. We'll split up payments three months. So your first payment will be a $100 deposit to hold. And then the rest will be done in three payments for a three-month level plan. Well, yeah, I think that's how it is. Anyway, three-month level plan. And, uh, but guys, if the payment plan is not, took care of, you know, every month like it's supposed to, and it's not paid off in time or whatever, I always tell people I reserve the right. It's a non-refundable deposit, by the way. Non-refundable, $100 deposit. Uh, and then I reserve the right to resell the baby if it's not paid off like it's supposed to be, you know, like the monthly payments are not made, or if it's not got out in time. Uh, I reserve the right to resell the baby. And it, the deposit is non-refundable. So that is my terms. Um, yeah. So I'll be putting them on eBay. But like I say, if anybody, if they want to do a payment plan, I can certainly do that. And uh, we'll do it that way. But I do reserve the right to resell that baby if it's not picked up when it's supposed to be or the payments are not made on it. I'm going to, I will try to get in contact with you. Uh, my best and tell you, you know, I need a payment or whatever if you don't pay it when you're supposed to, but then if I don't hear anything, then I'm going to resell the baby. But, of course, if anybody has a problem with the payment, you know, or something, something comes up, I understand that. That's life. And um, so, you know, if, if we had to, you know, if somebody would just let me know, uh, talk to me and let me know there's something happened. I can't do it, you know, or I, I can't make the full payment or something. Of course, I would try my best to work with you on it if you just let me know. But if I don't hear from you, I will resell the baby. And the deposit is non-refundable. So, anyway, when I put them up, guys, if you just want to be looking for that, you sure can. And I, you know, I try my best to do really good work. As you can see, as you all can see with my silicone, I'm very picky. So I try my best to get have good work for everybody. And so if y'all are interested, you keep your eyes open on eBay, and I'll let you know here too. And then if I when I do put them up for sale, I'll I'll put links uh, uh, in the description, and y'all can go on there and see if you like to have one or whatever that I make. And I sure would appreciate that. I've had several ask me, do I make babies? Uh, do I make them and sell them? And the answer is yes, I do. I'm just not so much into customs these days. So, you know, it's just, it's, the people are so hard to please, and I just don't, I don't like that. And they're not patient, and, you know, and, and all that stuff. So, anyway, there's the other arm, guys. So, okay, and I'm going to finish the rest off camera. There's no sense in me boring you with that. But anyway, that's my first layer, guys. When I get the other arm and leg done, I'll pop them in here in the oven and my new wave. And I don't know what degrees that is, but I always do them on uh, power level six. And I do it for eight minutes. And I rotate them while they're in the oven, too. Just so you know. You know, I'll leave them like two minutes here. And then I'll pause my oven and I'll flip them over and do two minutes on the other side. I rotate them as they go. But anyway, it's on power level six for eight minutes and then I take them out and let them cool and then I start with another layer. And I'll let you guys see that when I get to that. Okay guys, that's all I've got for right now. So as always guys, 
I'll see you soon. New video. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and share it so we can get to the thousand subscribers to give that reborn baby away. And uh, also, I have monthly giveaways. On the first of every month, I have a giveaway. Uh, just something small like a reborn related item. And I do that monthly. So invite all your friends over and let them know about it. And so we can hurry up and get these subscribers and get it all out of the way. And uh, also, you know, just don't, you know, remember to subscribe. And don't forget about the giveaways. Okay, guys, that's it. I'll see you tomorrow in a new video. Uh, when I start my other layers, I'll see you then. And as always, guys, thanks for watching. I appreciate y'all. And see you later. Bye-bye.